Hey guys, Richard here. So around a couple days ago, I went to a pizza place named CeCe's Pizza. Now if you don't know what CeCe's Pizza is, they're a chain of buffet restaurants serving all-you-can-eat pizza, pasta, salad, and... Synonym rolls. I mean, synonym, 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 synonym. All around me are familiar faces. Another kind of thing that CeCe's is known for are the games. But what kind of games is CC's known for? Well, it's GRK games. That's it. So in today's video, we're going to be playing each arcade games and I rank them by grade. So without further ado, cue the music and start the vid. So before I had to play the games, I had to get a game card. How this works is that you place your money into the dispenser and then you take your player card. I got $20 and it's 200 points. And you can play a lot of arcade games depending on how many points you have. But enough about that. Let's go to what we're all really here for. Which is the game! So the first game I tried was the Angry Birds Whacker. Which is just basically whack-a-mole but with Angry Birds branding on it. To say this game was easy was an understatement, as I've gotten myself 13 tickets as a result of playing this game. Overall, this game is kind of very easy because, well, I just had experience from this game for years, so I'm just gonna give that game an A because, well, it's easy. That's about it. I'm not really good at reviews, ain't I? The next game I played was Willy Crash. All you do is just shoot Willy out of the cannon in hopes that he hits some buildings. <laughs> And I won 25 tickets because of that. It's really just a simple game. There's nothing really cutting edge about this game, so it's a B for me. The next arcade game here is Piano Keys. And believe me, I did try to get gameplay footage of this, but well, you know how it went from here. Overall, the game is the exact same as the one as it is made by the same company, so B, it's the same grade as the game that I mentioned before. Also, did you know that those two games I just mentioned are adapted from mobile games? The first one, which is the piano one that I just reviewed, actually has some very good reviews. While the second one that I just reviewed earlier, which is Willy Crash, well... Yeah, self-explanatory to say the least. So the next game is called Treasure's Cove. Yes, it's a real name. The only objective of this game is to reel in some fish in a pirate ship. That's basically the only thing you do. Just to get some tickets. That's about it. <laughs> Maybe if I can just... Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, you're kidding me. And I won 24 tickets because of this. It's a simple game, but it's actually way fun at the same time, so... It's an A for me. You already know the next one. It's Minecraft Dungeons Arcade. It has collectible cards to boost your character's abilities. And for my map of choice, I chose a land of the Frozen named Frozen Richard. If you're looking for me playing Minecraft, trust me, this is the only video of me you'll ever see me playing Minecraft. In which, in this case, I lost. Overall, it is an awesome game, even though I haven't played Minecraft in like two years or so, so this game gets an S tier. The next game is called Lil Ticket Monsters. It's just basically Big Bass Pro Wheel, but it's basically just monster themed. That's it. Oh, demon! The next game is called Pearl Fishery. Honestly, this game is just so confusing. Like, I don't even know what's happening. If it's this pachinko or some type of quarters like game or something. Like, I'm just so confused by this game. I'm not really gonna go on a yapping session about this game, so I'm just gonna leave it as a C until somebody can explain to me what pearl fishing is in the comments below. The next game I'm trying is the Winter X game Snow Cross. For a character, I chose a guy named Pro Extreme. And I also chose Antarctica for this, and this went on for a couple of minutes until when I used the boost button. First place! I clinched first place, and I got a free game. Now I used the game to go to Colorado, only to end up in third place. It's an S tier game nonetheless. The next game I went to was Lane Master. It's just a bowling game. That's all it is. 
and I got 108 points total. The next game here is a classic, Down the Clown from Ice. This is all I managed to knock down. My aiming is atrocious. Next game up is Halo Firestorm Raven. Now this game is actually awesome, and it's my favorite in the whole arcade. I chose the mission I wanted to be on because I'm a Halo veteran. And if you wanted to know why, I have no gameplay of Halo Fire Team Raven. You know the only time when I, where I ever show you the gameplay is if I ever had a GoPro. That's it. Yep, that's the only reason why there's no gameplay of this and the bowling game. Enjoy footage of me playing the game while speaking nonchalantly or whatever that is. Oh! Okay, I didn't speak nonchalantly because I skipped some footage and I trimmed it down, but you get the point if you're an editor like me. Even though I eventually lost, I still had fun throughout the whole experience, so this game gets an S tier for me. We've reached the bottom of the barrel now, we have the claw machine. I don't really have anything else to say about this one, so I'll let the rank and the footage play for itself. What duck shall I get? Absolutely nothing! I'm running out of games, ain't I? The last game we have on the list is Key Master. Aww. And that's all the arcade games we have. Surely, this video would end here, right? <laughs> we then take the tickets and put it into the new prize matic which is what CC's installed recently. I like how they put the whole LET'S GO SHOPPING in Impact font. The stuff on the left side was cheap, so I got myself a Dino Deck or a Mystery Egg or whatever that is. That's all I can get. The frog. It was a web of spider. It wasn't worth it for 200 tickets, so I threw it away. And that's just about it for this vid. This video has been the longest video I've ever made in DaVinci Resolve, which is the editor I currently use, and it shows I poured a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into making this in the past couple of days. And I hope it really shows for you. Anywho, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next vid. Bye.